There is controversy at the state house over the legislature's face mask policy. Good evening, I'm Pat Callahan. Some Republican lawmakers have been wearing clear plastic shields, which Democratic Senate President Troy Jackson says are not acceptable. But his Republican counterpart says they were unaware of any issues. New Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty reports. These so-called half-face shields worn by Republican Representative Laura Libby and others in the State House have caused controversy. That does not cover uh, your nose. And, and oftentimes the way they're wearing it doesn't even care, cover your mouth. I just think we need to be better at communicating. The legislature's COVID-19 policy requires that masks cover both the face and nose unless the individual has a medical condition preventing the use of a face covering. In such a case, the policy states the lawmaker may participate in meetings remotely. Democratic Senate President Troy Jackson says people in the state house have quit because some are not following the policy and says the half shields are not acceptable. It's been the policy because the people that have to work here on an ongoing basis to try and protect their safety as much as possible. And, and so I, I don't really understand why uh, this keeps becoming an issue. But Representative Libby and Senate Republican leader Jeff Timberlake say people have been wearing the half shields this whole time and say they were not aware of any issues or ever approached about it. I don't know where the new change came. We wasn't told. We wasn't given any guidance. The one thing that we always seem to lack around here right now is we seem to lack communication about how things are happening. The main CDC says it has no involvement in the legislative discussion. It does say face coverings are still preferred over face shields for source control. It says if you must wear a face shield instead of a mask, choose a face shield that wraps around the sides of your face and extends below your chin or a hooded face shield. The main CDC goes on to say a chin shield type of product would not be recommended for COVID-19 source control. Timberlake says rather than take the issue up on their own, he wants to consult the CDC to see if the shields are compliant. Jackson says if members don't wear the proper masks, they will be escorted from the building. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. The Legislative Council plans to take up the issue next week. Representative Laurel says she has ordered a full-length face shield.